Okay. Yeah. Hi, Jodie. Hello. Hi. You're back again? Yeah, back again. So, every month. Every month, <laughs> yes. And I come to you every month. It's yeah. so nice. This time you're going to have a full body aromatherapy massage. Yeah. And a hoppy ear candling that I'm going to put out in two or three instalments. And you've had a aromatherapy massage with me before that was filmed and went out. Yeah. And it's been very it popular. Well. Yeah. You like your massages, mm. don't you? I love a massage. Mm. I like the core in between, but every so often I like a massage. Yeah, yeah. And of course, you give massages mm. every day. Yeah. Yeah, every most, day. most days. Yeah. And you're probably giving a massage thinking, I could really yeah, do with that this. that should be me. <laughs> yeah, good. Okay, well, I look forward to giving you both treatments. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to raise the couch up a little. So you've had quite a busy day, Jodes, yeah? So I'm just wondering what essential oils to give you in your aromatherapy massage... Um, are you driving a long way after this? No, you're not. You're not? Ah, oh, good. Are you doing much tonight? No. Nice. So can I go for it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to select a few that I'm thinking of for you, knowing your medical history and things, and I'm going to put them on you and then just test your kinesiology, see if those are the best ones for you today. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what they are at first. I'll tell you after, after I've tested you. Okay, so first of all, can I just reveal a hand? Lovely. You can bring it back here, or just onto the towel. Is that comfortable like that and then just bring your thumb to your little finger I'm going to try and pull apart and you're going to hold together and hold really strong so I'm going to go for it and I'm putting all four of the ones I'm thinking of on you and then we're going to test you again and see if your body likes these and hold yeah <laughs> got it right first time that's great okay so you can release your fingers and put them back under the warm in the towel so we have got frankincense geranium ylang ylang and rose rose absolute so they are beautiful oils um, you may know that geranium is particularly good for hormonal balancing Roses as well, but it's also like having a hug from your grandma. It's like a really coming home kind of feeling. I love rose. Oh, do you? Yeah. That's a good job. I should have asked you if you like those oils. Do you like them all? I do. I'm Oh, lovely. Yeah, so rose being a bass note is quite a thick, slow oil. I'm just waiting for it to come out of the bottle. Here it comes. And then Ylang Ylang is also a bass. In fact, we've got three basses and one middle note here. Oh yeah, that came a bit faster. And frankincense. So frankincense are really lovely for the skin, for any agitation, really soothes you after a busy day. Opening a new bottle of geranium. Oh yeah, a few drops of that going in there. Of course, being a whole body massage, there's quite a lot of oil there. This is a um, organic sunflower carrier oil that I've got. Yeah, it looks nice. Okay, so I'm just going to remove the top towel, put it on the radiator for later. I'm going to tuck you in. Lovely, so you're completely covered there. Getting a good amount of warmed 
aromatherapy oil, pouring it onto the back. Lovely. Making sure everywhere is covered. Including the neck, very top of the shoulders, into the hips and the sides of the torso. Are you warm enough, Jodie? Yes. Oh, good. You've got the heated couch on. Okay, so three nice long breaths. spine. Just coming round, massaging from the top, using whole hands. So I can remember the last massage we gave that was filmed, we talked about the skin writing. And I can tell immediately, normally, you know, a couple of years ago, this would now be lined and red, and there are no marks whatsoever. So good. So... Seven years. So do you think we just grow out of it? I think it, it's either seven years, three months or for life. That's what it says online. Seven years and three months. Or three months or oh, for life. Oh I see. Gosh. Very precise amounts of time. Yeah. Looking really good. So I'm just feeling into those shoulders, seeing what they're telling me. Using quite a strong double handed approach. And then bringing warmth and a strength either side of the spine over the area at the top of the thoracics, which tends to bulk up with a certain type of action when we're leaning over, using our body weight forwards. We want to make sure that that soft tissue there, all of that fascia, is, if you like, agitated so that it removes its tendency to bulk up. We don't want congestion, stagnation. We want a lovely, fluid, smooth muscle. 
sometimes they need just need to be encouraged to lengthen and get rid of any spasm and tension. Coming over with double thumbs over the top of the shoulders. And then around the scapula, drawing a line using the edges of the finger tops and finger sides to come around that left scapula. And then while holding the bottom of the wing of that scapula, the pointed lower section, using the other hand in a soft knuckling action, generally pressure going upwards. So it comes up over the shoulder and down to the cervical lymph factory in the front of the chest. So this is where it's quite nice for the body to respond with a rosy colour. We want the body to go rosy because then we know that the blood is getting through correctly, that there's no blockage. And where there's blood, as the Chinese say, there is qi, there is life. So it's really good if it goes nice and rosy. And then finishing off that left scapula with some strong flat hand overlapping over the top arches, moving any toxins that have been agitated to go upwards, up and over and to be eliminated in the waist. Coming round to the other shoulder, starting off with that drawing a line around the top, the sides, even the arm side of the scapula. So it's like a wing, it's like an angel's wing. And sometimes these scapula being flat plates of bone, just like the sacrum, can get stuck and fastened underneath if they're not moved in every direction that they can move then they tend to stagnate and stop being able to move in all of those lovely directions and this type of massage is a lovely way of getting that flexibility mobility working again so that the scapula has its full range of movement. And then holding the bottom and knuckling around. How's this feeling, Jodie? Yeah? yeah? It can be a bit sore over that area, but it's, it is, okay. Of course, you use your shoulders all the time, don't you, with your work? Yeah. They should feel a lot better after this. Then a reverse effleurage, pushing the hips strongly up the sides, 
over the shoulder tops, supporting the neck and lightly down to the hips, around, strongly up. So just coming round to the side of the spine using two thumbs with the breath just to activate in between each vertebra those lovely nerve endings allowing the communication to harmonise between the lymph and the nervous system. This is a lovely part of the treatment where therapist connects with client, harmonizes breathing one to the other, and also feels that beautiful expansion that naturally happens with every breath. where every cell in our body expands as we inhale and contracts as we exhale. And this is a technique that needs Patience, plenty of time given to it. Because a lot of the feeling behind this technique is actually energetic. There is a physicality to it where you feel the breath moving. But also as a therapist, you get a sense of what's going on in the body, especially each section. So when I'm at the top, I'm feeling into the shoulders and the neck, but also into the face, the head, the cranium, what might be going on in the mind, mentally, allowing these nerve signals to help soothe and relax.
And once both are stimulated, we then clear each side in that beautiful channel that is thumb sized. Each side of the bones of the spine and inside the length of the muscle called the erector spinae. I once had a massage from a lovely young girl many years ago who actually massaged very strongly the erector spinae either side of my spine in a overlapping thumb petrissage motion going upwards towards the neck and it was very painful and I know that bless her I think she was meant to be working here in that lovely little gully in between the bone and the muscle which then helps that muscle as well just there So, that's the correct place to do it, either side of the spine, but not too far away from it. Now feeling into the trapezius, that's nice and warm, yeah, smells amazing, can you smell it? Yes, yeah, lovely. Oh, ylang ylang, frankincense, rose and geranium. Amazing. I think I'm going to be asleep as well. <laughs> okay, so beautiful upward effleurage over the tra tra trapezius, the lat dorsi, and the beautiful hips into the waist. Strongly bringing those toxins up moving the fascia, soothing and elongating the muscles. Now working on the hips a little. Working into the iliac bone, using four fingers in a circular petrissage, anchoring with the thumbs. Coming up more centrally, each side of the sacrum bringing in the knuckles, tracing the edge of the sacrum bones and then on to the top of that beautiful triangle, pushing down towards the heart. And then one of my favourite moves coming up, splitting strongly around the waist, the obliques, down to the couch and gently up. Down, round and up. One more time. Now for a scissoring action, you'll have seen me do before, which helps agitate the toxins within the lymph system, as there are so many lymph nodes on the side of the torso. 
So just working on Jodie's left side at the moment, scissoring the fascia in between long fingers. And the lymph tends to sit on the very outer side, the superficial side of the body, very outer. And so we work quite gently when we're working with lymph. So I'm now bringing down in a lovely long line of fingertips to the very outer edge of the torso where the lymph nodes sit. Lymph tends to work very slowly. That's why a massage is so good because it doesn't have a heartbeat to move it around the body like the red blood cells do. So that's why things like putting our feet up, massage and exercise all help to stimulate the lymph to get it working to go back uphill up to the upper torso where there are two large lymph factories in the torso that will then help eliminate any waste products. Just gently agitating the very surface. making a line and smoothing out slowly to the armpit where there is a very important lymph node. I want to get those moving. And over. Lovely. Coming back to lovely home ground, the effleurage. Up strongly, warming and securing, supporting. Up strongly, around the tops of the shoulders, edge of the torso. including the arms and now working overlapping wave-like motion coming up the body again working on that lymph as aromatherapy massage that's its main intent working on expelling any waste products moving the lymph helping the body work again once it hasn't got all of those crystals and lactic acids, free radicals, any waste products that do not serve us. Overlapping, warming, reassuring. This particular technique, it can feel like there's more than one person working on the body. I know from personal experience when I have a massage, I like it to feel almost unpredictable.
that I don't know what's going to happen next. I can't second guess it. I'm giving the neck some attention. Coming round. Softening that trapezius up into the side of the neck muscle, the sternocleidomastoid, up over that deltoid. And pulling the corner, the V of that angle there over, bringing any strain and tension away. Coming round the other side. Repeating the move, bringing the hand over. Oh, hands overlapping strongly up the leg, over the Achilles, gently over the back of the knee, strongly up the calf and the hamstring to the side of the hip, and then bending the knee and checking out the calf making sure it's not 
in spasm or any knots. It's quite a strong calf. I can feel there's a little bit of tension there, but I'm using my thena in the base of the hand halfway down the calf to just help expand that V area as the calf splits higher up. So it's together at the start here and then it splits. It can be a little bit sensitive. And then massaging both sides and gently down supporting the foot over the Achilles using thenars again to rock the Achilles side to side and strongly upwards with thumbs splaying the calf again now that the calf can relax on the couch gently over the popliteal and then three finger stroking overlapping with flat fingers medium pressure up the back of the leg especially over the hamstring and just hooking under the iliac round and down smoothing and reassuring Pouring the oil over the whole surface area of the sole, the toes, the heel, Achilles, back of the leg, up to the hip. Pressing the foot into the cushion of the couch, up and round. Applying the oil, introducing my hands and allowing the muscles to feel the contact so that they know the strength, the type of movement being used. And then bending the knee again. And strongly coming down the calf using fingers but mainly the base of the hand just to feel what's going on in the muscle this one feels not as bad as the left the left was a bit tense this one isn't smarting and then coming down resting the foot Working into the Achilles, rocking it back and forth, side to side. And then double thumbs up and gently pulling the leg, lengthening, helping to stretch out that hip, the femur locking into the hip at the top. One more time. And then three finger stroking. Gently over the popliteal of the knee, 
strongly up the hamstring. Lock under the bone, round the side of the hip and down, pressing the toes, the top of the foot into the soft cushion of the couch. Jody, when you're ready, you can turn over. You're covered. It does, doesn't it? Right. I'm just going to put the insert into the top of the couch. Okay, shall I take your bobble out? Okay. That comfy? Yeah. So having effleuraged the whole right leg, now coming up over the top of the foot, not too strongly to put too much strain on the ankle, over the ankle and then up the shin. Overlapping whole hands. And I like to just trace the edge of the bones here. Checking them out, feeling for any blockage or injury, any scar tissue, any congestion, and then smoothing that out, encouraging them upwards towards the back of the knee, over the knee softly, whole hands. Tracing the edge of the lovely patella. And gently rocking it side to side and up and down. Lovely patella. And then shifting any waste materials back, encouraging them to the back of the knee and on the other side. And now a lovely move, this feels fantastic to receive. 
overlapping alternate hands tracing the way that the muscles fall as they come from the outside to the inside in this fashion so I'm working up following those muscles up towards the outside hip bringing that lovely inner thigh encouraging it up round and over bending it just like we do in core therapy with tweener we're bending the muscles encouraging some give and softness and then over the top of the muscle the four quadriceps and then the outside coming up to the very side of the the thigh right up to the hip fantastic and now the lovely foot circling rotating in one direction over the ankle bone over the top of the foot and gently massaging two toes little and large rotating them round a few crunches and a gentle tug same again the second and fourth toes massaging encouraging them in circles and a little tug to the underside great stretching working on the reflex points so this is the spine the neck the lung shoulder down elbow, hip, knee the abdomen solar plexus Introducing the oil to the front of the left leg, making sure there's plenty. Reassuring the foot. Overlapping. 
clapping hands strongly. And then checking out the bones, the fibula and tibia, lovely soft tissue around the sides and back of those bones, clearing any toxins which can feel a little bit sore. And then tracing a line in the front of that very strong tibia. Lovely, right up to the knee, gently over the top of the knee of the patella. And then tracing lines around the patella. Smoothing around and then pushing back to the, the lymph node behind the knee. And this side, lovely. And then a beautiful move of overlapping alternate hands, picking up and gently pulling over the quadriceps in that lovely angled technique coming up towards the outside hip. Strongly up the front and the side, the whole side of the leg up to the hip. Picking up the lower leg, just turning the ankle in one direction and the other. Round the ankle, over the top of the foot, oh lovely, and massaging the big toe and the little toe together a few clicks and crunches. Massaging second and fourth toes, rotating and a gentle tug. overlapping circles. Stretching out the sole of the foot at the lungs, solar plexus, the abdomen. 
coming down the spine, stretching out into the neck. The lung, thyroid, shoulder. Nice pull. Introducing the oil to the abdomen and just gently introducing my hands, allowing a very soft effleurage technique to spread the oil and allow my hands to connect with the beautiful abdomen. Just feeling into the soft tissue under the ribs between the iliac and now working a little firmer working on the abdominal organs a lovely tummy rumble shows two things shows Jody's really relaxed. So it's definitely a compliment to a therapist when the tummy rumbles. But also it shows that the treatment's already working, that the abdomen is relaxing, that the organs are letting go and allowing beautiful process to happen. Coming over the colon and back down. Softly over the lower part, strongly up, across and down, up, across, and down, coming up and round, coming together. And now, the takeoff, the wonderful feeling of spiritual connectedness. Down, around, and together.
connecting with liver and stomach, ovaries, to a Chinese meridian called Ren, and back up. using plenty of oil so that there's no tug or pull to the skin making sure every part of the arm, hand, shoulder, wrist is moisturised and covered ready for a lovely massage bringing the hand to the opposite shoulder securing and using the palm to rotate around the elbow bone and down making sure the upper arm is vertical so that any toxins are more easily pushed back to the auxiliary lymph node and down the outside of the arm really strongly really nice there and then supporting back down and using two thumbs with the elbow secured to the couch which tends to pull on the tendons curling the fingers from the wrist three or four stages down to the elbow lovely And around the wrist, a few clicks. Each side. And into the hand. each digit individually massaging sides, top, bottom rotating and a gentle pull making sure every knuckle is covered and massaged even these little knuckles the ends of the fingers, the mid knuckle and the primary knuckle
and then turning the hand to reveal the palm, overlapping thumbs, one and then the other, as it pulls the tendons, pulling, curling the fingers in, and then over the centre base of the hand, up the arm, towards the elbow, to encourage the lymph node to continue removing waste products. Bending at the elbow, securing the hand to the opposite shoulder, making sure the upper, upper arm is vertical, and then smoothing down from elbow to shoulder tip, over the top, the side, and the underarm. Rotating the palm over the elbow bone. And then two fingers down strongly in three or four installments all the way down to the elbow. Round. A nice stretch. to the top of the hand through the metacarpals rotating each finger and thumb over the thenar over the nail a few clicks and a gentle stretch. Turning and clearing the solar plexus in the palm, reassuring, massaging that contentment area, that feel good factor. All is well.
introducing the oil, making sure there's plenty so that the skin feels moisturized and hydrated, but also so that the massage uses the aromatherapy essential oils to good effect where the oils will go through the skin into the blood circulation and help regulate and harmonize all of the systems of the body that those four oils help with. They help with sleep and endocrine regulation. They help with stress and with tense muscles. Using the knuckles now over the area already effleuraged. Describing a circle around the shoulder point. And coming up. into the soft tissue between the shoulder and the neck at the trapezius and the sternocleidomastoid muscle supporting the head and neck gently around the length coming up, round, down Finding the edge of that muscle, securing and reassuring it, allowing it to lengthen and relax. Stretching over just gently under the occiput, the very top of the neck just palpating into the lovely space between the occiput and the vertebrae. Some key meridian acupressure points. At first a little massage and then a little activation. Stretching, supporting, pulling it over. Nice long whole neck stretch and back. Ready for the other side. Coming over. Stretching the shoulder away. Massaging with a whole hand around shoulder to the shoulder point, around the back of the soft tissue. Tracing fingers down the muscle at the side of the neck, coming down down in order to encourage toxins back to the cervical lymph in the chest over that shoulder point and using knuckles again Lovely, stretch down and over. Oh, fantastic, wonderful stretch. And now a little neck stretch, fingers into the base underneath the occiput and tilting the head back naturally in order to create space. A 
and a gentle pull before coming up. to massage upwards either side of the spine, either side of the neck, allowing the weight of the head to tip backwards. Hi Jodie. Hello. Hi. You're back again? Yeah, back again. So every month. Every month, <laughs> yes. And I come to you every month. Yeah. It's so nice. So really nice. look forward to it. Yeah. This time you're going to have a full body aromatherapy massage. Yeah. And a hoppy ear candling. 
and you've had a aromatherapy massage with me before that was filmed and went out yeah. and it's been very it popular. Well. Yeah. You like your massages, mm. don't you? I love a massage. Mm. I like the court in between, but every so often I like a massage. Yeah, yeah. And of course, you give massages mm. every day. Yeah, yeah, every most, day. most days. Yeah. And you're probably giving a massage thinking, I could really yeah, do with that this. That should be me. <laughs> yeah. You're having a hoppy as well. Is there any particular reason for that? Um, because I'm flying soon. So I find it really helps if I have one just before. Mm hmm. With pressure. The pressure, yeah, and then you don't get the pain yeah. when you're landing. Yeah, lovely, good, okay. Well, I look forward to giving you both treatments. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> so, hoppy ear candling. Uh, you mentioned about plane travel and it helps with pressure in the ears when, when you're landing. So, do you generally have any issues with your ears or, or only on landing? Um... They do get blocked sometimes, um, but yeah, you usually just notice them when I'm landing. Okay, and do you have any issues with hearing or balance or um, dizziness? I don't think so. And would you say that one of your ears is worse than another, or are they about the same? Uh, my left one is usually worse, worse. Mm. so that means we're going to do that one second mm -hmm. so if you want to turn on to your left mm -hmm. and I'll cover you with some towels would you like that yeah. and keep warm and then we'll treat your right ear first Hope your tummy's going it could be mine as well I've given you hoppy before so you may remember I've got an otoscope that I'm going to use and just check the ear before and after if that's okay, okay. yeah so if you want to turn on to your left on your side yeah. and bring the pillow into that's it mm. if you lie down into there perfect so it's supporting the neck and the head is that feel yeah, comfy okay. then I'll get the towels Now what I tend to do is put a pillow in between your knees as well, would you like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, like that, is that about the right place? Right, how's that? Mm, comfy. Oh, good, good, good. Now, I'm probably going to ask you, yeah. have you got a hand here? Yeah. To put your hand here, yeah. push the pillow down, because then I'm going to need you to turn it perfect so that the ear hole is actually uppermost. Are you comfy like that? Yeah. You just take your hair away, otherwise that's going to annoy you. There we are. Just going to look in your ear first. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. And then just gently pulling your earlobe to allow the correct fitting 
of the end of the hop ear candle to the outside of the ear. It's not entering the ear at all, it's just sealing around the very outside. I'm just supporting it here and I'll be watching it the whole time. Meanwhile, giving you a nice little sinus massage across the face, the chin, around the lymph nodes of the ears and around the back of the head. These are all key places that can be congested. For instance, the sinus membranes behind the frontal bone in the forehead and the sinus in the cheeks, the lymph across the jawline and many acupressure meridian points as well. Having stimulated with a few light pressures in a very gentle action. Oh, lovely, I'm hearing some crackling sounds now. That's a good sign, shows the candle's working already. And of course, the candle is a bit of a misnomer. It's not really a candle because it's not solid wax and it has no wick. It's more like a chimney which is hollow on the inside and the fire in this case is at the top of the chimney and therefore draws in a very gentle action from below up through the chimney and out of the top. So how a hoppy ear candle tends to work is the warming action of the flame which creates a smoke that comes down the chimney and out of the top. And as the, the flame warms, it warms inside the ear as well in a very reassuring, calming way. And there are essential oils in with the linen and cotton made in the chimney of chamomile and that chamomile has an anti-inflammatory action so any inflammation in or around the ear into the sinus membranes and all of the respiratory areas connected with the ear will be calmed with an anti-inflammatory action. can hear a lot of rain outside on the Bothy roof and it's very nice being in here in the dry and the warm, all cosy and secure, enjoying a lovely treatment.
And the good thing about hoppy ear candles is, because they're not made of paper, because they're made of fabric with a woven texture to them, the grey ash at the top is not like paper or wood ash at all. It stays intact and if it does bend, it tends to bend over and not break. And of course we're always keeping an eye on it, making sure it's behaving and nothing's going to happen. So now in long lines just using a caterpillar action from the top of the neck through the acupressure points of the occiput and then over the base of the scalp helping to clear and at the same time activate and stimulate those meridian points which will all help with the respiratory system, any ear blockage and induce a feeling of calm and relaxation as the candle slowly burns down. I'm going to let it burn down a little bit nearer to the red line before removing it and immersing the rest of the candle in some cold water to help extinguish the flame. I find that this area above the ear on the scalp is particularly good for removing any congestion in the ear, working on the soft tissue of the scalp into the hairline. on the temporal bone into the temples the sides of the eyes smoothing reassuring Gently turning the candle to break the seal, bringing it away. very carefully just cleaning the very outer side of the ear into the very top into the crevices 
all the parts of the ear that help us listen and hear everything we need to. And then the very outer side of the hole of the ear, just to clean it. I'm just going to have another little look. Yeah, great, that looks better. Super. Okay, so I'm going to remove a towel. And this one. I'll remove the pillow. You can turn over. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're not driving far. <laughs> and the towel's going back on. You okay? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So I'm just going to check this ear. Okay. Yeah, maybe it is slightly more waxy than the other. So just going to light the candle. very carefully. Just touch it to the outside of the ear, give it a little turn, make sure it's sealed, pulling the earlobe. Lovely. Securing it in place and keeping an eye on it. Stimulating the correct direction for movement in the forehead with these lovely lines of gentle pressures using the pad of my finger. Oh, lovely. Some noises have started. That's what we want. We want little fireworks. Little fizzing and popping noises. Sometimes it can be more than that. Oh yeah, I can hear them now. That's a good sign. Shows the candles working.
into the side of the nose and gently small pressures outwards in a line and the pressure is also angled slightly outwards Oh yeah, some lovely fizzing noises That's really good over the chin, just gently at the acupressure point under the lower lip, massaging and stimulating and then gently pinching along the jawline in an outward action. tends to happen with ears that are more blocked than others is they take longer to burn down because the airflow is not as smooth, it's a little bit more congested. Just feeling like this area needs a little bit more attention right in the center under the occiput just clearing away just going to give it a little bit of Qigong energy And then onward pressures up the back of the scalp using three fingers in order to maximize the beneficial effect of clearing meridians and acupressure points and all of those nerve endings and lymph nodes as there are many around the ears and in the head. Coming to work above the ear. Oh 
it's really crackling. That's great news. almost sounds like waves coming into the shore, healing, bringing us harmony, and just turning slightly in order to break the seal, bring it over. residue from the candle. And the very outer part of the ear, not going inside at all, just the entrance. Just going to have a look with the otoscope. I think you'll see a difference. That looks much better. Okay, gently, gently take a couple of deep breaths 
slowly come back round into the room very gently. Lovely, have a little stretch, move your body, breathe deeply. Hmm. So you've been fully massaged, hoppy ear candling, and now you're probably ready for bed. Mm, definitely. <laughs> I don't think I could move from here. <laughs> okay, well you've got plenty of time, so I'm going to get you a glass of water. And thank you for coming today, Jodie. Thank you. And I'll see you again. Thank you very much. My pleasure.